you guys. So today I was really stuck for a video idea, but I didn't want to leave you without a video, so someone suggested that I do a Q&A. This is just a super quick q and I'm sorry that it's not a new idea. I have a lot of exciting things planned. I just couldn't execute them quite right today, so don't worry, there's more stuff coming. If you could be any animal, what would you be? I don't know, I take this very seriously because I want to get it right, but um, I think the animal I'm most like might be a bunny or a mouse, but the animal that I would want to be is a sea otter because that is my favorite kind of animal, or giraffe. Giraffes are cool. What are you most excited about? I am so excited to go to a Girl Meets World taping and see a premiere of a new musical. Well, it's not really the premiere, but you know what I mean. I just, I'm going to LA, guys. I just found out this weekend. I'm so excited. I can't even talk about it. I'll start crying happy tears. It's so amazing, I'm so excited, and I want to take you on the journey with me. I'm doing a scrapbook for the Girl Meets World cast and one for Augie's birthday. Details about that are on my Instagram and my Twitter, so if you have questions, just email me or tweet me or contact me in some way and I'll answer them for you. This person has a lot of questions. I wanna know what my favorite color is, my favorite book is, my favorite food, my favorite movie, and if I know Lithuania. I do know Lithuania. Hi, people from Lithuania. My favorite color is pink or purple pink and purple, but I also, my favorite color combination is pink and brown, as you can tell by my room at the moment. Pink and brown, that, is, I love pink and brown. That's like the best color. That was my grad party colors. I love pink and brown, pink and brown, brown. My favorite book, that's sort of a tough question. I don't know, I think it's To Kill a Mockingbird, but I've read so many good books lately that I just cannot, I don't know, it's hard. Favorite food is between pizza and this one pasta that my mom makes that's so I can't pronounce the name of it for the life of me, but it's so good. It has breadcrumbs and stuff. Oh, so good. I'm like so hungry thinking about it. Favorite movie? That's really, really hard because I love every Disney movie and every Pixar movie there has ever been ever in life. Let's just say Disney Pixar. Every single movie they've ever made. I love all of them. Favorite Girl Meets World episode? Okay, this one I can answer. Currently at this exact moment, it is Girl Meets Mr. Squirrels Goes to Washington. Ooh, saying that title just wears you out. That episode just hit me right in the feels. I sobbed. I don't cry during movies or TV shows very often, but I sobbed. Like there were, it was just a waterfall. It was like Niagara Falls in my eyes. I just couldn't handle the emotions. What will your face be like when you meet the Girl Meets World cast? I don't know, but I if I were them, I'd be very scared. It'll probably be something like, <laughs> but I hope I look a lot more attractive than that. What topics do you want Girl Meets World to cover the most? Anxiety is my number one. I want them to cover anxiety and I want, I just know that they'll like treat it well. One life goal, that is a hard one. Right now my goal is to just keep doing what I'm doing on YouTube and I hope that I become as big as like the Sakoni Jolies or Tyler Oakley or Zoella or Alfie, anybody of that nature because that way I can reach a larger audience and just make people smile. Like how much, like you can't ask for anything more than that, you know? How much do I love Girl Meets World? So much, like to infinity and beyond. Past that, like just so much. The only thing I love more are my parents and Elise and my family. That's it. One thing I miss about childhood, I miss everything about childhood. Like I miss being a kid so badly, but I think like the main thing is just not worrying about anything. Cause I was just like, I'm a kid, I'm a child. You know what I mean? Like you don't worry about anything. You don't really have that many cares in life besides like, what am I gonna eat for lunch? Or am I gonna share my cookie at the lunch table? Do I ship Brabina? Brabrina, Brabrina. <laughs> Hey, but it's Bradley Stephen Perry and Sabrina Carpenter. Sorry that I stink at stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think they're super cute together. I mean, they're just, they're so adorable. And you can tell that Bradley like really cherishes her. And I love that because Sabrina is a treasure that should be cherished. So good job, Bradley. <laughs> Why do I slay? Oh my gosh. Thank you for saying that. I just, I don't know. I just, I just, I've practiced, I guess. I, that's the simplest answer. <laughs> Why did I start my channel? Oh my goodness, I started my channel two years ago. I just, I'm a big fan of YouTubers and I was like, ah, might as well give it a try because at the time and like, I still do now, but I make like documentaries and short films and stuff and they're a lot more fancy than what I do on YouTube, but I just figured might as well put this to the test and use my skills and my gift to make short videos on YouTube that are just fun, that can make people smile and I don't know, it just sort of started out being very simple. I didn't think it would really go anywhere but as I continued to do it, look where I am now. I've had a viral video. I. 
I, I just, I'm going to a taping of a TV show that I support. It's just like, it's crazy, honestly. And I'm so glad I started. I'm so glad I didn't quit because I was so close to quitting. So close. So glad I didn't quit. The final question for today is what do I want to see happen in the Girl Meets World finale? In the finale? I don't know. I don't, here's what I don't want. I don't want it to be a cliffhanger and be like, to be continued because then you gotta wait and it's just like Jane the Virgin. Jane the Virgin did that rude. I just, if it's not a cliffhanger, I'm, I'm fine. So whatever happens, as long as it's not a cliffhanger, that's great. That is it for today. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to your question. I had to do this kind of quick. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Thanks for everything. I'm having like the best week and I just want to like hug you all. And just, I'll see you on Friday. I have a pretty cool video planned. It's kind of different, but I think you'll like it. And then the Friday after that, we're making a video for Peyton. So if you want to be in it, send me your video. That's it. Bye.